Hello and welcome back to Avorian. My name is Manj. Welcome back to Xenian Space. Now, uh, I've done a bit of exploring. I've used my little uh, Corvette fleet to do a lot of exploring. Um, and along the sort of way of exploring and stuff like that, it, it's a difficult one because exploring is um, <laughs> one of two things. That is incredibly boring and uneventful. Uh, you're just jumping from sector to sector to sector going, ah, nothing, ah, nothing, ah, nothing. Every now and again, you might run across a secret stash uh, or a group of pirates that I have to run away from at the moment because they're too powerful. Um, but every now and again, uh, it sort of takes you by surprise. You walk into a sector, you find a secret stash. Not only that, but you also find like a wreck. Not any wreck because there's a lot of wrecks out there that are just nothing and you can sit there and you can mine them and, and you might get a couple of modules and a bit of scrap metal and stuff. But some wrecks out there among the stars you can claim. Now, this is really, really important. If you can find a claimable ship, take it. Okay. One of the things I did early on in this series was take the uh, Lady Adventurer, the first ship that the Adventurer gives you, and I scrapped it, which is stupid, because I should have just applied a new design to it. You guys pointed out in the comments. You're absolutely right. Uh, it was an idiotic move. But I found another wrecked ship, and I dragged it back here, because, you know, it had nothing. And I applied another Mobius-class uh, freighter designed to it. So I have another ship. But you know what? I didn't have to found this one. That's what makes it important. There's a certain limit or something in the game about how many ships you can actually found. Each time you found a ship, uh, it increases the requirements. At the moment, if I found a ship, it requires Trinium. The next one will require Zanian. Eventually, it will require Avorian to found a ship. And then, I don't know, I don't know whether that, that there's a limit after Avorian or not, but the, the point is it kind of, it's gatekeeping your fleet size by material as well. So, if you can find a ship uh, that you can claim, do it, because you can drag it back to a shipyard and just put whatever design you want on it, and you don't have to found it. So there we go, it doesn't count. So I now have, like, crazily, I have, like, ten ships in my entire fleet now. Um, so I got a nice little, uh, a nice little uh, achievement for that, ten ships in the fleet. Um, I'm not sure if stations count towards that, actually. Yeah. Uh, no, they don't. So, that's lovely. Uh, we have a new boat. Let me introduce you to her. This is the Cavalier. Yeah, see? Clever, right? Because it's not even a... It's not a double E-E-R. It's not a double E-R. It's an I-E-R. But it's still pronounced the same. <laughs> so we got the Privateer, we got the Pioneer, we got the Buccaneer, and now we've got the Cavalier. Yeah, it works. I think it works. I think it works. Anyway, so what the hell am I going to do with this ship? Well, I've, I've sort of been pondering what the bloody hell to do with this because I want the private over here uh, to be a kind of either a salvaging or a mining vessel. Eventually, at the moment, it's just my main vessel. What I do need and what this uh, Zanian territory has kind of revealed to me is the need for a bigger, badder Boat. The Mobius is at its limit here. It really is. It doesn't have necessarily the whole hit points, uh, the processing power, and the, the size to really continue much longer beyond this sector of space. I need a new design, and that will be the subject to my chilling and building uh, yesterday <laughs> as you're watching this video. So hopefully I've finished said new design, um, or at least get a good way through it. But I think I'm going to need some kind of like destroyer class ship. We've got a Corvette. We've got a freighter, and we've got a, a little daddy eedy beedy frigate, uh, which is no longer useful, really. <laughs> so we need a destroyer class. And then after the destroyer, I don't know, carrier, battleship, who knows? Um, that's going to happen. So, oh, uh, my brigand's finished scouting. Let me just chuck that on another scout run over. Up, up here. Up here. Just been doing getting these guys to just do scouting non-stop you can see how much territory they revealed so we were over here last episode i think one of the sectors over here was the pirates we had to run away from i haven't gone back there that's for sure <laughs> i've left them well alone i don't want to go back i can't remember which one it was it doesn't really matter um but yeah we were over here and i think all we could see was this little slice of territory here um and um so we've since come down there they are uh, so we've got the planets of the Acri. Now, planets of the Acri, I was tempted to, because they're m the most neutral with the me at the moment. If you remember, the Unuk Commonwealth were, were in bad relations with me for whatever reason. Now, I asked one of the passing freighters, because you can speak to, like, freighters and loaders and stuff like that of a particular faction, where is your homeworld? And he said, oh, it's here. 
<laughs> it's down there. It's an Acri homeworld. All right, these are the planets of the Acri up here. That's their homeworld, which means their territory spans there and beyond, no doubt. It is enormous territory. Um, and so I was like, well, it's very, well, it's also very spread out. Look, they're over here. There's lots of hidden mass areas and stuff. And I was just like, oh, this is exhausting. All right, so I decided to go with the kingdom of the Surudics. They seem to have a much more compact territory in terms of their territory uh, faction um, center is around about here, which is still a little ways into Zanian territory from where we were. So around here, things are pretty kind of dicey, shall we say. <laughs> the other one is the, uh, not the kingdom. Oh no, that is all of them, isn't it? Yeah, the kingdom, the planets, and the galactic common commonwealth. The commonwealth seem to have their territory center up here somewhere. So uh, what I need to do is make these guys happy with me. Okay, I want to be able to use their turret factory, their, sorry, their fighter factories. I marked fighter factories off on the map here, as you can see, where I found them. Um, there are fighter factories around, so I need uh, to make these guys happy uh, so that I can use their fighter factories, so that I can actually equip this thing, you know, according to the absolute. This is nice, safe space, okay? <laughs> Pirates keep coming here. The local security forces absolutely wreck them. Very happy with that. I, every now and again, I'm trying to get a shot off, but they're so bloody quick at it. Anyway, it doesn't doesn't really work. So, yeah, I need to get fighters because I want to set this ship up as a fleet support vessel. Uh, what I have done is equipped it with a myriad buccaneers under attack. Of course, the buccaneers under attack. A myriad of repair lasers and stuff like that. Uh, repair fighters and things like that. I've set out with long range weapons and basically I'm going to tell it to just stay on me. Uh, right, Buccaneer is not really equipped with the same weaponry as I've got up at the, the front. It's all pulse lasers, but these pirates should be no match for it really. Although this guy seems to be taking out a lot of fire into his face. I imagine the AI of the Buccaneer will be able to deal with this, but uh, it's always nice to be able to jump in and just make sure that is the case. You. Have a talk. Uh, you had to manoeuvre, didn't you? You had to fly around like a little bastard. Look at you. Alright, you then. You're not flying around very much. Die. You can have a talk either. You're dead already. <laughs> Never mind. You can have another torpedo! Don't you dare fly off. No, 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 you little shit. Look at him. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> yeah, bastards. They can't really get through my shields, so that's good. Okay, yeah, so booking it. More than capable of dealing with battered scumbags. Estimated deals 26. I don't know if that's better. 26, I think, is. So, um, go do it. No sell, and don't get attacked again, please. Right. What was I doing? And there you go. So now I'm back. And I'm like, Christ, now I can't even remember what I was doing. Yeah, I'm setting this up as a fleet support ship. I'm just going to order it to repair me constantly, right? And it will sit with me and it will fire its long range guns when it can fire its long range guns, use loads of its repair things. And then after a battle, I can just tell it to repair all. And its laser should go haywire. Now, if I have repair fighters with this thing as well, um, you know, that would be good as well. It also has an academy on board. It has an academy and it has an assembly. So I am going to get it to train a bunch of pilots. Like, uh, these pilots are tricky because I have this module that we get from the AI um, there where it's like pilot workforce 1200. <laughs> it doesn't need pilots, but other ships will need pilots. So uh, if this one's constantly training pilots and stuff like that, that'd be great. Anyway. That's the plan. That's what I want to do. That's what I need. The first thing I need is this guy needs a pi a, a captain in order so I can actually order him around and stuff. Um, so there's no captains here I've checked. Let's go around a few sectors, see if we can find a decent captain. Ideally, a Commodore would be great. This is looking good, isn't it? That's a uh, bulletin board. Merchant and no class. No class! Okay, so, I mean, that's fine enough. Uh, military compounds are usually where you find... Commodores, so there's wow, there's a military outpost there, but there was definitely no Commodore there. Military outpost, travel hub, 
There we go, Commodore Captain, military outpost. There's also a smuggler here and a miner here. Now, I am really struggling to find any R-type mining lasers um, of sort of tritium or higher quality at the moment. So I think I'm going to go down the route of a scavenger ship because I'm definitely getting R-type salvage lasers in this area. Um, the R-type mining lasers will probably come along once I've spec the privateer to do a salvaging ship. <laughs> Anyway, Commodore Captain is going to do well on a fleet support ship. And then I've also picked up, while I was around, I thought I'd do it. I picked up a scavenger captain as well um, with that in mind. So I can transfer him to the Pioneer. Uh, privateer, sorry. Okay. And then also bring the Pioneer up here as well and kit that out for it at some point. You know, you got to bring the entire fleet forward at one point and just bring them up here. I think the Catlers need to be converted into Mobiuses, and the Mobius is converted into whatever ship I build next, uh, assuming it, you know, is going to be capable of general things. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what am I doing? I'm not trading. I'm hiring crew. Uh, we are getting Commodore. He is stealthy. He is reckless. But he's educated. <laughs> Highly educated. He will learn new things very quickly. Awesome. Uh, what a tier is he? He's tier one? Yeah, so he get he brings along with him armed turrets and auto turret slots, which is lovely. Uh, he's reckless, which means he gets ambushed, but he's quicker and he's stealthy, which means he's not likely to get ambushed. <laughs> so he's a complete and utter contradiction. Uh, there we go. <laughs> no, this captain has already collected experience working as Commodore. She has already commanded smaller fleets and made a name for herself. Enemies think twice before attacking her. Hell yeah. 120,000 though, they are expensive, the old Commodore was. Uh, right, okay, so let's uh, unassign you and assign you as Capitan. Uh, that gives us some extra gun slots, which is lovely. Just two arbitraries. Um, that's fine, that's fine. Hey, we got we got slots on here. You might have noticed a slightly different sort of turret layout on the top here. Because i got a big boomer here. The precise Quandra Mortar. Um, that's a big boomer. We've got some nice big laser zappy zappies on the top there. All of these are like economical repair lasers and stuff. Point defense, a quadra blaster, uh, some salvages just for a bit of flexibility. These are lightning cannons, which are nice and long range. And they've got 15 kilometers. This has got 16 kilometers. They only have nine. So, you know, the, I'm really speaking this out for it as a ranged gunner. Uh, so... What I need is what? I've got two slots. Hello. Two slots. So either one gun that takes up two slots and place it in the middle lower bow there. Um, so I've also got seven more auto turret slots as well, thanks to the captain. Or two one slotters that I put on the top front here and here maybe. The, the problem with finding the one slotters, whoa, they are getting rarer and rarer and harder and harder to find. There's a long range laser. Pretty pretty weasley though. These Tesla cannons, they have a very, very tasty amount of DPS. 506, 376. Um, their range, however, is Garbo. They have a range of a salvage laser. So they're very good for a close up brawling ship that likes to get really up close in your face. The problem is at this level, what I've noticed that pirates do a lot is they they range they like their rocket launchers they really like their rocket launchers and they just circle you at a long range just freaking hammering you with rockets and then you try and chase the bastards and they run away and it's a nightmare i did try and use these on the privateer when i was exploring and they were a pain in the ass to use they really couldn't get close enough to use them so i um yeah i'm not going to <laughs> basically is the long and the short of that story uh right a lot of these are two slotters. That one, economical, economical, dual plasma. That's a one slotter, half size as well. I'll slap you on there. Now it would be nice to have something like another plasma blaster or a uh, pulse cannon. That's two slots though. That one. That's a laser. Um, that's a laser. Here we go. One slot quadra blaster. Boom! Yeah. Hundred and thirty DPS okay not bad there is a plasma gun over here with 123 dps just for the sake of symmetry it might be quite nice to have that and there we go we could set both of those new boys uh to auto fire as well so you and you on the nine and auto fires 
Lovely. The only gun that I'm controlling then is the Quadra Mortar. Blammo, blammo. Alright. Some uh, custom turret designs on these bad boys. Uh, let's go. Well, they're, they're Quadra Blasters, aren't they? So let's give this. This is one of my favourite. Look at that. Beautiful turret design. I just get these off the workshop. Just search turrets. Build the turrets. Have a look around. There is some amazing stuff up there. Right, there we go. Blammo, blammo. Extra blammo. With a side of blammo. Cool. So this thing, I think, has now the highest firepower rating of any of my ships. 3.89 KOM. As a fleet support ship where most of its guns are repair lasers, that's kind of impressive, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got a Commodore uh, Capitan. Capitan. We have armed it, equipped it. Like, the next thing that we need to do then... Other than give the Buccaneer yet another trading mission. Um, Buccaneer. Okay. I can get rid of this little filter now. That will help me see things. Buccaneer. Trade, please. Do things. Make money. That's what you're here for. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I swear, this this he is exhausting this area of trade runs, I swear. Um, <laughs> it's just getting less and less money coming out of it. Uh, 2.1 million, 1.3, yeah, 2.1. Let's go. Enjoy. Behave yourself. Okay. Hello, what's that noise going on? Sounded like shooty shooty to me. Anyway, the, uh, the mortar does that, which is lovely. Zzz. Blammo. <laughs> I haven't seen it in action yet, but it will, it will, and it will be fun. Okay, so I'm going to meet back with my fleet down here. What we need to do now is uh, kind of try and get <laughs> some reputation. So we're going to do some missions. We need to improve relations with the kingdom in order to use their fighter factories and shop at their equipment docks and get all the nice stuff and spend some of this money that I've been racking up and saving up. I mean, look, I'm at 210 million. Every episode, it seems to be another sort of 50 or so million that you guys come back to. 210 million credits. This is all the Buccaneer. There's those stations. I've added a coal station to the now. Silicon Express just sold 1,015 silicon for 758,000 credits. Then the Energizer has sold 703 energy cells for 54,000 credits. <laughs> yeah? Uh, right. Let's go back to that now. There we go. So, uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, there you are. Uh, there's a captain on there that I want to transfer over, actually. Yeah. So we're going to have a look at some missions here to see if we can improve relations. Some of these things... So looking for Zotan artifacts are all to do with the next boss, the Brothers, the Brotherhood, which is a four-ship boss fight, if I remember correctly. Um... And I believe they each ship specializes in a different way. One of them actually does what the Cavalier does here, is a support ship, a repair ship. The others are like where you got um, long range torpedo artillery, close range zappy zappy brawlery type thing with lots of armor, and so on and so forth. There's, yeah, I think the one with the lots of armor just doesn't do any damage, so you can ignore it basically to the end. But I, I, I don't know if they've changed it or not. Who knows? Anyway, um, what? No, transfer crew. Oh, I've got a freaking scav captain already. When did I get that? Well, well, well. <laughs> Whoops. Addict cunning lucky. Uh, okay. Damn it. Okay, well, you just stay as a passenger there. I'm sure I'll come up with a use for you at some point. Okay, then. So I've got four ships with me now. Um, because I suspect some of the missions that I'm going to have to complete are going to be fighty fighty ones. Um... To be fair, these deliver energy cell ones are nice and easy. What's that? Wipe out pirates, transfer vessel, resource shortage, deliver crystals. She's innocent again. Wanted dead, not alive. Uh, the she's innocent one is a really frantic kind of run aroundy thing. I'm not really sure I can be asked to do that again. <laughs> Wanted dead, not alive. Uh, I've not done that one before. Let's have a look at that. Uh, Bulletin board. Wanted, dead, not alive. Looking for a bounty hunter. The target is wanted for multiple crimes against civilians. More details will follow once you accept the task. This is definitely, definitely uh, going to be kill a pirate boss type thing, isn't it? It's going to be like seriously hard work. Except, here we go. What have we got here then? Wanted, dead, not alive. 
Thank you for accepting the contract. Your target is Commander Snora. He and his pirates have been terrorizing our people for far too long. We can no longer close our eyes to the threat. Eliminate him and his followers. Do not attempt to take him alive. This is meant to set an example. Destroy every last one of their ships. The Cavaliers. Hang about. <laughs> they have just the ship. It's called. <laughs> it can't be a coincidence. What the hell? Okay. Uh, where? So that's the Brotherhood artifact delivery. That's a distress signal. Wait, what? Ah, uh, it's down here, look. Down here. Alright, so if I take the brigand, everything to this travel hub here. Cavalier, Mesalim, uh, not the privateer, I'm in the privateer, right? Start. There they go. And I will join you guys in a second. Um, there's something strange in that sector. I've not seen anything like it. Bested with pirates. Asteroids. Wrecks. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go to empty space. Nice quick recharge. On the hyperdrive. Not that I have a long recharge on this thing anyway. So this thing. Privateer is now equipped with. Kind of. I've taken the big boomers off. Because. Um, they weren't really doing much here. We now have. A really rapid fire setup. So, chain guns, pulse lasers, blasters, kind of like mid-range sort of. They seem to do quite well so far against the pirate hordes. <laughs> I just needed more. The, the, the three big boomers, they were just taking up so, much, so many slots. I just needed more, more guns, more firepower. All right, here we go. So, the loader of the kingdom. talk to this guy hey what are you doing here I already called for backup so don't even try to attack us we are on a bounty hunt oh you're looking for commander Snora we saw him and his people at a trading post not too long ago started asking around wanted to hire crew but they left when security was alerted where are they now well if you could bring them down you'd be doing everyone a favor they jumped to sector 14850 thank you happy hunting 14850 is there. Now, can we make that a single jump? Brigand? No. Cavalier? Yes. Maleficent? No. Miscreant? Yes. Private? Yes. <laughs> Basically, no. <laughs> Alright, fine. Um, we're all going to have to jump here then. Then we will jump to, hopefully, where this guy is. What have I got here? Thanks. Thanks. Great. Yes, guys. Let's go. Ah, here we go. What do you want? Oh, we're looking for someone called Snora. <laughs> Wait a minute. The name of your ship, Privateer. That sounds familiar. It does? Yes, it does. You're the dog that attacked our buddy Johnson. What? You're going to pay for that. All right. Um, right, you... You're not going anywhere, first of all. You are just on repair me. Meanwhile, <laughs> the guys are off. This guy needs to die, though. Look at him. He's spitting rockets at everyone. This is the big problem. And uh, catching him is a bloody nightmare. He's already taken the shields down of one of my ships, two of my ships, three of my ships. Yeah, that's it. Focus on me, you bastard. I've got the shields. Guys, don't. Have at him, boys. I'd have him. Take him down in his smug git face. This is a tough fight, you see. Look at him, he's off. He's off. Once his shields are down, though, he's got nothing. I wish I had some torps. <laughs> I wish I had some torps right now. Try to fire some torps at him, for sure. Come on, boys. You got this. Right, here he goes. That is down. So all those stupid rockets and stuff. Right. Let's get this guy next. Thank you for the repair, Cavalier. You're doing a wonderful job, by the way. Keep it up. Have him. Another group has spawned in. I hope this is... Uh... Look at that freaking pulse gun. is just fabulous. Get him down, get him down, get him down. Right, straight on to the next group of dickheads. Here we go. This guy needs to die. I have the range on this thing is just 
Ah, beautiful. Yep. You got this, Cavalier. You got this, buddy. Nice work. Nice work. I think the big boomers are coming in. All right, Brigand. You need to, you know, stop being such a dickhead. Who's getting rockets in their face? Hey, right. where are those rockets coming from? Who's firing them? Who needs to die? You. Get off. Get off my ship. Get off my ship. Hey. Hey. Shoot me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shoot me. All right. This, this is the problem. See, this is this is one of those ships that just sort of runs away as you try and fight him. Yeah, because he's he's all focused on freaking missile launchers and whatever. Yeah, all right. Whatever ship that is on my left right there is like looking super ropey, so I just need to get in and protect him. And this is this is one of the most annoying fights the game can offer right now is where this guy is going to constantly try and boost away. And I'm going to constantly try and boost to keep up with him. Meanwhile, he's just absolutely peppering me with freaking rockets. Alright, he's got his shields down, so he should be... Should be done for any time. The freaking... Nebulas and stuff don't help around here. Alright. Okay, okay, stop. Are you ready to talk? We recently did a job for the ones you're looking for. We met them in Sector 15763. But don't tell them where you got the coordinates from. Thanks! Go die in a hole. <laughs> Alright, uh... Cavalier, where are you? There you are. Okay, you need to repair all. Not just me, alright? I'm fine. Um, some of the guys are not. That is some damage they've got on there. So, you know, get on with it, yeah? You got your work cut out for you. Okay, I need to go mop up some stuff. And then we're going to have a look and see where we go next. Another fight, no doubt. I tell you, until I, I start getting some seriously good new firepower and a big a big boomer ship, uh, these fights are going to be really tough, even with four freaking ships in the fleet here. They are tough. There's an exotic over there. Let's go get that. That's important. This guy, am I going to... <laughs> Am I going to attack him when I get nearby? We're stranded! <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, look, if if the Cavalier comes along here with his mortar and just decides to kill you... Oh, he's immune! Ah, My little point defense is like, die! <laughs> the lasers are like, die! He's immune, whatever. I'm shooting him, it's fun. What have we got there? Uh, large cargo extension exotic. Boring! Could have been a combat turret module would have been nice or a shield reinforcer or something useful why are you flashing green my scavenger captain is his uh, senses are tingling <laughs> oh he's like hmm valuables now that's the other thing the cabal has got a couple of salvage lasers on it so I could once it's finished doing all the repairs and stuff tell it to salvage these wrecks for any more little goodies they might have look there's a blue outline on this guy because he contains blue stuff. Although I am... That is not a lot of damage. One? One? Have I got the wrong one? I've got a mining laser switched on, not a salvaging laser. My bad. <laughs> just like, why is it taking so long? It's a, it's a mining laser. And this is just a purifying salvage as well. It's not even... Um, not even R. Are you guys trying to kill the Im the invulnerable ship, yeah? Look at the, uh, the, the what the repair lasers have done already, look. Look at the guys, they're all back at full health. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we need. Imagine that guy with also um, uh, repair fighters as well. Like, it would be nuts, right? So if we get him now to salvage sector, go. You're done repairing. And your guns are just going to constantly fire at that thing. Just don't shoot any freaking... Um... Have I got all the valuables out of that then? No. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> These guys confuse the hell out of me, I tell you sometimes. 
It's like just attacking the wreck. Just like, hey, I'm salvaging this, you dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, there goes an exotic. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, an exceptional. Repair lasers are going off again. At least he's repairing while he's salvaging. That's pretty... Oh, no, wait, that's the brigand doing that. That's not the... Uh... Oh, look at that. That just highlighted blue. They've got a blue one. Or is that just the material it's made out of? Fierce Tesla cannon. Yeah, useless. I don't know, maybe uh, make a brawler type ship at some point, but yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is pick up these bits and bobs, and then let's have a little look. Where have we got to go? I'm going to have to get them to travel to there, I think, and then jump over together. Commander Snora. Oh, yeah. Ah, so the rumours are true, he says. Okay. Yep. They sent out bounty hunters for us. Yes. Feeling flattered. And you believe that you can capture us, you worm. I think it's pronounced warm. We'll see about that. <laughs> Get him, boys. Sick him. Those lightning cannons. They're beautiful. They're a thing of beauty. Have I actually got any talking? You do. Uh, class fusion. Uh, oh. Thank you very much. That's lovely. Um... Okay, he's got fighters and stuff. Well, he's going to have some torpedoes. So, you know, can deal with it. And boom. Immune. Okay, we need to dig out the other guys then, I guess. Right, dig out the, uh, the ads. Dig out the ads. Oh, I'm receiving some flack. Dig out the ads. Now, can we attack him? Oh yeah, look, he's going. He's going. He's he's off. Oh, you cheeky little bastard! You want some of that? Yeah, shoot my torpedoes down. I'll set four ships on you. Have another one. I'm out. That's all my torpedoes. <laughs> Only had three. <laughs> this guy's got a big boat. I think he's overcompensating or something. Snorer. He's down. Easy. Actually, really, strangely easy, considering the pirate scumbags. Oh, well, there we go. Nice one. Snorer was a snore. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. It's terrible, isn't it? Terrible. This is. I have a lack of entertainment, and I've only really got myself to keep myself company right now. <laughs> it's just, just makes silly joke. And then laugh at them myself. Anyway, there we go. Uh, target eliminated. I didn't see how much reputation that gave me, but hopefully a bit. That's half a million credits as well. Thank you for taking care of a little problem. Find your reward. I uh, hope you consider this business in the future. Have a nice. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, lovely. Some Zanian as well. That is very welcome. Very, very welcome. Okay, so uh, just a quick check then. Uh, let's have a little look at our relationships with the kingdom. That's good. That is really good. That's actually put a nice, a nice chunk towards good relations. I want to get up here at good, because then I can start buying some of their more um, exotic and, and well, not the exotic, but the uh, the excellent kind of uh, modules and stuff. Right. Snore dealt with. We've got some salvaging to do here. There's quite a few little boats and then I think what we're going to do is head back in this general direction over here, see what other missions we can pick up to get these guys into good terms. But that was a nice little fight. I enjoyed. Everybody did a wonderful job look at our little fleet it's finally working uh very very happy so at this point something went terribly terribly wrong with my recording files the audio uh has completely corrupted something nasty is happening right now i'm looking to pick up some missions to improve rep pick up a nice simple exploration mission and so i'm talking about that basically um, but I'm going to give you a quick little sample of what the hell has happened to my my voice audio. The game audio is fine. It is just what's coming out of the microphone right now. Um, so I'll, I'll turn it down, but brace yourselves. This is what's happened to my audio. Not really much I can do with that other than just turn it off. Unfortunately, it does mean that all of the commentary <laughs> that I had for the remainder of this episode, it would it would appear, uh, is buggered. It's completely buggered. 
Um, so I'm going to try my best to kind of narrate, I guess, based on the, the the footage that I'm seeing here. Because I can't remember what I bloody said. I can't remember what I said. <laughs> What's going on? Um, but essentially, we picked up an exploration mission. I'm going to go and check that out. Just check my ships on various other missions. Because it's a, an easy explore. I don't think they need to be with me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that without them. Uh, hopefully that's going to give me a nice little chunk of rep. Uh, never done an exploration mission before, actually. So this will be the first. Um, as the mission says it's easy, I'm hoping that it is easy. Looks like what I've got to do is fly to these little green markers and then interact with them and press explore. Uh, pretty straightforward, really. One of the it looks like a standard sort of smuggler sector. A shipyard, smuggler hideout, bunch of ships and stuff like that. So... Uh, no real risk here. This should be nice and quick. Here's the shipyard. And then there's also a valuable object here. Looks like a secret stash, so I'll quickly go ahead and open that one. Lovely juicy bits and bombs inside there. Okay, uh, just a couple more green thingies to explore. One more. And then the last one. Nice. Okay, so now I need to return to the mission giver, <laughs> whatever, and uh, complete that. Nice, not too bad. Nice and easy, like it says. But of course it's never that easy, is it? On the way back, uh, I get ambushed by some pirates. And they're tough bastards this time. Uh, oh yeah. To one of these with the whole rocket launchery things, the homing. I've got to really kind of take this guy down quickly. Uh, otherwise, he is just going to massacre me. But it is. Uh, he's doing that runaway thing. It's horrible. I hate these things. I really need. I, I don't know what the best way to deal with these guys is. I think I just need like torpedoes, torpedoes, and torpedoes. Fighters. Fighters and fighters. But that's what I am here trying to do. Trying to get the damn fighters and stuff. Um, I can't use those fighter factories until I have a good rep with these guys, so this is very much a catch-22 situation. I need fighters to deal with these guys. I can't get fighters. <laughs> uh, torpedoes would be ideal, I think. Uh, this guy is just a bastard. Uh, I'm gonna at least, I need to kill him, at least, because of just the outrage, the insult, the damage he has caused. If I don't kill at least this guy, I'm going to be so annoyed. Uh, but, jeez, the damage he is doing is insane. Utterly insane. Got the turd. Finally. But at what bloody price? Look at my hull. It is insane. I need to get the hell out of here. And quick. Damage is pretty severe. Um, so we're going to get repair blocks on that. And get the guys repairing that. That was pretty silly of me, really. I should have just, uh, <laughs> just left. <laughs> as soon as the warp was available I should have just got out I might have been able to get out without much damage at all I think the shields were still up when the warp was available but I had I had some kind of crazy vengeance bloodlust in my eyes I just needed to kill that rocketeering little bastard I hate them and I need a much much better way of dealing with them um, and I think that is like I say I think that is torps and fighters but uh, do let me know in the comments I mean how in the hell do you deal with these little runaway rocket bastards uh, any suggestions would be greatly welcome. Anyway, I've got my work cut out. I've got to replace all the turrets and all the blocks and stuff like that. I'm going to get the Cavalier over here to help repair me as well. But there we go. Mission completed. That's going to improve a little bit of our relations, which is lovely. Plus, we get a bit of Zanian for that, as well as the cash prize as well. So very, very happy with that. That's great. Our rep with them now is getting better. Is getting better. Not quite good, but I think we're close to getting there. There is another way to get a good rep, and you can pay a tribute, I think, via diplomacy option if you can find their headquarters. Anyway, I, um, I'm not sure where that is. I've kind of explored most of the area around here. There's a few green dots left over, but not many. Um, there's a bunch of green dots the other side of this rift here, but this rift seems to expand a considerable amount. 
I think, and I, I'm really surprised by this, but I think that's the barrier. But I thought that was way further in. I think we, we've only just reached Zanian, so I thought the barrier was beyond Organite. I haven't seen any Organite yet, so I'm really confused, but I think that's the barrier, which is crazy. I've taken up another, um, another mission, uh, another Lost Friend mission. We've done the Lost Friend before. It was a quick fight with a, with a few pirates and then you, you the station and you get a captain from it. So this is an explorer cap. It'll be quite useful uh, at some point. Anyway, so I'm going to send my ships off up there to meet me just outside where we need to go. And then we're going to head in with all five ships. And I'm hoping that we can kind of steamroll at them and just get this done. Hopefully this is enough rep to get me to good standing with these guys. All right, here we go. The boys are off. They're off. They're just off in doing stuff. Let's, uh, let's start knocking down some of these shields here. Somehow I've already taken damage, um, but it'll be fine. There is quite a few of them there, but I think between the five of us, we should be able to manage this. There goes his shields. Then we just rip him apart with these pulse lasers and gatling guns i've got meanwhile my lasers are doing their best to just shoot everything they can shoot I'm gonna get these guys shields down once i get their shields down i can melt their hulls reasonably quickly i do have uh the lasers are very good at de dealing with shields one of the uh the gats or pulse cannons i've got also does electricity damage i think that there goes another one the guys are doing okay at the moment everybody's shields seem to be intact good um right let's get Let's get the Cavalier doing some repair runs on everyone because I think some shields are going down and some hulls are starting to take some damage now. Okay, so if I set Cavalier to repair all, meanwhile, oh god, we've had we've had more come in, haven't they? These have just come on, jumped right on top of us. All right, let's focus this guy down. Let's go. You guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Although a brigand, I think, on the left there, your shields are about to drop. Get out of there, my friend. Okay, we need to start to take some damage. Oh, there's a nice exotic. I'll go get that in a second. But let's kill him first. There's a lot of these bastards, isn't there? My shields are still up, though. And the Cavalier is repairing. Oh, God. Three more ships just warped in. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Um, at least I got that exotic. Oh, my God. Okay, we're just going to have to keep working them down one at a time. But we are outnumbered. Oh, God. Who's got the missiles? Cavalier is taking missiles. We've got to get that guy down. Shield breakers, though. Uh, Cavalier's still got plenty of shields, so he should be okay. Focus this guy. Thank you for the repair, dude. Much appreciato. Uh, the Corvettes are looking a little ropey, though. Hello. <laughs> this is horrible. Um, okay, I wasn't. I'm not sure this is going to go quite as smoothly as I thought it was going to. Shields are still up. Cavalier's still repairing. I uh, just gotta get this guy down. Thank you for not maneuvering, by the way. That's really good of you. Much appreciato. Okay, now die. Try not to friendly fire the cav oh, crap the cavalier shields are about to go down and he's getting rocketed to death. Okay, where is that rocket bastard? You'll do. Firing torps at people. How dare you? Die! Get him, boys. Get him! Sick him! Get him! Get those shields down. I think I might need to respect some of my turrets to anti shields because. A lot of them are uh, antimatter and physical damage, as you can see. Wear shields down, but rather slowly. I was hoping that the between the uh, lasers and the corvettes and stuff that they'd be able to take them down. Why well, my shields are down now. Those torps are keep getting interrupted, which is lovely. So how many have we got? We got like three of them right now. So oh Christ! Look at the brigands taking huge amounts of damage. Come on then, we will finish these bastards off. There's only two left now. Oh, Christ, you got to be kidding me. Another three of them just arrived. Uh, oh, Jesus, look at the damage. Oh, God, this is not good. I was... Is this like a clear pirate sector? I thought it was literally just a few pirates. What is going on? This is nuts. Now I'm taking rocket damage to the side. Not good. i got some hull points to spare. Not like the other guys, though. You could do with some repair, though, Cavalier, if you're around, you know, not busy or anything. Oh, God. I'm just looking at my Corvettes. They are taking a beating. There's too many of them. This guy needs to die. They all need to die. Come on, boys. We got this. We can do it. 
if this is the last wave, then we might be okay. But I'm not sure at this point. Oh god, things are falling off me. Ouch. Stop it with your rockets. Go. I hate rockets! I can't outmaneuver them. Ah, oh, jeez. Bits are falling off. I am taking a ridiculous amount. I've got two of them rocketing me right now. Yeah. Critical damage. Oh, boy. This is not good! Where are these rockets coming from? I need to end them now. There's one. You. Come to me. Got my own rockets firing at you at the moment, but they're non-tracky ones, so they're probably just missing. Oh, God. This is painful. Look at the damage. Uh, I think I might need to retreat. This is not going well. Uh, I'll get this guy's shields down. And he's running away and just freaking hammering me. To mention my Corvettes. Oh, God, they're looking so bad. If we could just get this guy down, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so invested. Oh, jeez, I just remembered something as well. The Cavalier doesn't have a reconstruction token. I really should we'll probably be getting out of here right now. Come on, we can get this guy down. No! Damn it! It's one ship down, but it's okay. He's got a reconstruct token. We can get him rebuilt. Come on. I can't. Oh, that was a nice lag spike. Brilliant. Very good. Oh, Jesus. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get closer. Gotta catch this guy. Hate these rocketeery little bastards. Suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die! This is not good. Oh, jeez. Oh, great! Another ship down. Oh, my God. Okay. Yep. That's that's pretty much it. I can't. Yeah. No, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I can't get, even get this guy's shields down. Um, exit, please. Stage left. Oh, God. The damage. I gotta make it. Stupid rockets. I hate them. I hate these damn bastards. That sucks! Oh, I lost the Cavalier. And the Cavalier didn't have a reconstruct slogan. That... That hurt. That really hurt. Oh, that's bad. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought we were doing okay. We were doing fine. And then they just kept coming. Wave after wave. Three ships down. Two, barely alive. That's not good. I can have to rethink this. We did a whole new strategy on how to get our rep up because fighting these pirates is just not working. I have got some serious wounds to lick today um, and recover. I've got to repair all of these ships, rebuild what I can, re-put all the turrets back on, upgrade what I can. I can't do combats anymore, not until I get something big and big and pokey oh that was horrible and on that crushing defeat ladies and gentlemen uh it is time to end today's episode i do apologize for the crazy ass audio issues and the weird sort of post commentary commentary where i'm trying to guess what the hell i was talking about at the time nevertheless um i hope you enjoyed today's episode um like i said before do let me know in the comments what your preferred strategy is around those freaking rocketeering runaway bastards i hate them they are the worst and they need to die so any strategy uh you could advise that you know works let me know down below but otherwise f's in the chat for the cavalier the poor bastard was only born today and that was it never mind anyway i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye